Morning everyone, it's our first uh, day of riding here in Mississippi and we're staying at a place called the Concord Inn. It's a property that's been in the Coombs family for, what did they say, 170 years, 160 years, something like that. So I guess we're gonna go grab breakfast and uh, learn about the Tanglefoot Trail and actually get to start riding. So what's for breakfast? It's a sausage and egg casserole and cheese grits. So these are the grits. These I've, are grits. I've not had grits before. So. Okay. Well, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Oh, okay. At least I hope so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that I know, I've seen that before. That's bacon. That right. <laughs> So we also have breakfast with Betsy. Hey Betsy! <laughs> <laughs> and Betsy was instrumental in getting the uh, trace started and becoming a trail. And uh, it was great to just hear a little bit about the history before we get out there and start riding it today. The, uh, the Tanglefoot Trail is on the right of way of the um, railroad that old Colonel Faulkner, who was the great grandfather of William Faulkner, and uh, one of the work engines was named the Tanglefoot. And uh, just thought it was kind of catchy and we liked it. And so uh, with that little bit of history, that's why it's called the Tanglefoot Trail. Cool. So it sounds like some of the businesses have started to embrace the trail? Oh yes, absolutely. I think everybody um, along the trail, the communities along the trail have experienced some uh, economic uh, development. So, um, yeah, it's been great for our communities. I think we were all a little skeptical, you know, at first, so you just ha have to kind of you know, embrace the positives, and uh, and they absolutely have because this little country store is just right on the, the right of way of the trail, and so it's um, has just a wonderful food. Rural, it's great because the, the bikers just absolutely love it. So we're here in New Albany, which is the start of the Tanglefoot Trail. We're gonna hop on. Pretty cool trailhead. Uh, really well incorporated into downtown. Spot. Pleasure meeting you. And you're, you're a local cyclist, sir. I am. Cool. I am. I was born and raised in Pontotoc, and I've been away for 40 years. And we moved back two and a half years ago. Okay. And uh, retired from the University of Georgia. But if you had if you'd said, Bob, what could we do to get you to move back to Pontotoc? 43 miles of paved. That's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. all, all this for you. <laughs> That's right. Oh, you ever let him drive? <laughs> Every now and then when I get really, really tired. Yeah. <laughs> halfway down the trail and we've stopped here in Algoma. This is the Algoma Country Store. We have been told that this is the spot to stop and have lunch. Yeah, have a good day for me. Yeah, yeah, we do. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, we got some hungry people. What is that? It's amazing. This is called chicken on a stick. There's chicken, potatoes, and pickles all fried. And then I got a side of fried okra. How is it? This is a cool outdoor space that's actually connected to the restaurant. And uh, they built this specifically for trail users. So it's pretty cool how lots of the businesses and communities along uh, the Tanglefoot are really embracing the trail and making improvements right next to it. So we just wrapped up riding uh, the Tanglefoot Trail, and it was awesome. Yeah, I think that was uh, probably one of the best trails we've ridden. I think uh, both of us were really impressed with the amount of stops along the way, the rest stops, picnic areas, restrooms, all the facilities, bike fixing stands, <laughs> and a really interesting trail too. I feel like the beginning, it sort of undulated enough that uh, it was really interesting and obviously such a different landscape uh, down here. But I think my favorite thing has to be that lunch stop. Oh man. That was, that was perfect. Yeah, so we got the uh, chicken on a stick, the, just the right combination of fried chicken and vegetables, so it felt like quasi-healthy. <laughs> quasi quasi-healthy. Quasi -healthy. So that's it for this video. Uh, we've got a lot more writing to do, 
this week. If you wanna follow along, be sure to follow on Instagram and don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.